Circuit as a game mode can best be described as a sanctuary meeting bounties. We have random zones like we do in Sanctuary, but objectives rotate and it's not just a force spam exterminate, we also have survival, excavation, void flood and defense. And we have two separate paths, regular and steel path. And what's really interesting about a regular path is that it provides an alternative way to obtain wolf frames and their augments. Certain wolf frames are harder to get than others, so it depends on the weekly rotation, if that's worth it, but for wolf frame augments, they're all locked behind the highest level syndicates, which is usually quite deep into progression, so this is really good for new players. So that system is pretty great, especially when combined with how choices work in Daviri. New players can get to use real good weapons in a frame they don't even own, and game equip set with semi-good builds. For levels seen in regular circuit, those builds are more than good enough. Which cannot be said for Steel Pad Circuit, the only place to obtain those spicy Incarnon weapons. Default builds are a struggle town, so in my humble opinion, Steel Pad Circuit is not really as fun until you unlock very high level opportunity intrinsics. So my recommendation would be to do some open world exploring and grind up that opportunity intrinsic tree, somewhat at least, before embarking on a serious journey to grind that Steel Pad Circuit. Sure, you can get lucky with the gear, but it's highly unlikely because enemies scale super fast. It takes only 18 zones to meet level cap enemies. And while most of those stages are doable, it's defense that's troublesome. Very troublesome. And for multiple reasons. One is that the objective does not scale nearly as fast as enemies do, and certain enemies do more damage than the others. So somebody can randomly shave off half of the HP from that thing, especially grenades. But what's somehow more troublesome is placement of that defense objective. It is so bad that I have to make a separate video on it explaining just on how many levels. It's just, it, it just doesn't work. So subscribe for that one. But if you've been playing Bullframe for a while, you are familiar with these inability to understand defense. But yeah, tiles are bad for defense. So if your current loadout is starting to struggle against levels that are coming, when defense comes in the next stage, it's likely as good of a time as it gets to finish that run. Decrease make builds perform way better, which is why those level cap enemies do not feel the same as those in other places in the game. But they still won't clap you regardless of which frame you have. Shieldgate is the only way to survive those levels reliably. Some decrees are better than others, but most of them work well depending on what you focus on, or rather what you get lucky with. Because chances are you won't have more than one great weapon, and you'll pick decrees that help that thing to note is that game picks which mod config it thinks is best, so I had a weird case where my Tene Archaplasmor felt worse than it should, only to notice that game picked my Profit Taker config over my regular config, despite my regular config being first and Profit Taker being in a third slot. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's because Galvanize Savvy does not show any damage increase in stats in the modding screen, even if it's like a thousand times better than Prime Point Blank. So that's something to be careful of. Check which mod configuration game picked. My personal opinion is that this should not search through all the configs and compare them if first configuration is fully populated. That would completely fix this issue. Most players put their everyday config in the first slot and other two slots are populated if there are more specialized configurations. Aside from my beef with these inability to make good defense missions, I really like the circuit. Of course, because Incarnon weapons rotate every week and it can be a few hours of grind each week to obtain them, depending on your luck with the choices, I'll have plenty of time to get sick of that game mode. It will be like a couple of months before we obtain all the Incarnon weapons. But I think Decrease add a fun element to it, making a lot of stuff perform insanely well. Like the status spread decree. I think that any powerful status weapon is a nuke that works even on level cap enemies. I've had Kuva Kom nuke level cap groups just in few shots without armor stripping and no hunter munitions either. That's ridiculous. But yeah, part with decrease is really fun, I gotta say. Certain weapons that are fun but kind of on the lower end can become insane with just a few decrees. Which is something that could keep this game mode more novel for a longer period of time. All the fun is allowed, except pets. Those are not allowed for some reason, guess they are just too OP. But to be fair, they'll just die all the time. But yeah, in conclusion, regular circuit, real good for new players. Steel pad circuit requires us to have our opportunity tree unlocked to some extent. Defense sucks, 
Rewards are great in both paths to their respective players. Decrees make everything fun. And D gave another middle finger to companions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.